National Pollinator Month, and we're here to tell you what all the buzz is about. Hello, and welcome to this unbelievable edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Today, we're at Honey Bee World Incorporated near Bennett, Nebraska. Starting off at number five, it's no secret that pollinators play a vital role in agriculture. In fact, honeybees contribute nearly $20 billion to the value of U.S. crop production. Honeybees aren't alone. In fact, over 200,000 animal species serve as pollinators. Of the 1,400 crop plants grown, almost 75% depend on these pollinators, including coffee, almonds, many fruits, and chocolate. The California almond industry alone requires 1.8 million colonies of honeybees in order to adequately pollinate nearly 1 million acres of almond trees. Number four on the countdown, pollinators are important, but they're also facing some serious challenges. Pollinator populations have declined steadily since the 1950s. Disease, parasites, habitat loss, climate change, and competition from non-native bees have contributed to declines in managed and wild bee colonies. Pesticides and other chemicals also pose a real threat to pollinators. It's difficult to avoid using them, but doing them in a safe and responsible way will minimize their effects on the pollinator populations. Number three, pollinator populations may be facing challenges, but there are some ways that you can help. If you want to take your pollinator garden to the next level, you can participate in the Million Pollinator Garden Challenge. The challenge is put on by the National Wildlife Federation's Garden for Wildlife program, and it aims to provide food, water, cover, and places to raise young for pollinators like bees, butterflies, and hummingbirds. In at number two this week, honeybees don't just pollinate plants, they produce a pretty sweet treat too. A typical beehive can produce anywhere from 30 to 100 pounds of honey in a year. To produce a single pound of honey, a colony of bees must collect nectar from 2 million flowers and fly over 55,000 miles. That amounts to a lifetime's worth of work for around 800 bees. Bees also produce beeswax, which is used in balms, hand creams, and other moisturizers. And finally, number one this week, Nebraska is home to nearly 700 beekeepers, operating about 115,000 colonies of bees. Annual honey production in the state ranges from 5 to 11 million pounds, depending on weather conditions and available flora. If you'd like to get involved in Nebraska's beekeeping industry, just contact the Nebraska Beekeepers Association. Resources are available for both beginners and established beekeepers. Well, that'll do it for this Beboppin' edition of Friday Five, which is brought to you by the Nebraska Corn Board. Special thanks to Honey Bee World Incorporated for letting us buzz around. Have a sweet weekend. This is Mike. Mike likes his car. Mike likes to save money. And Mike likes to breathe. So Mike fills up with E15 with 15% American ethanol. The clean octane in E15 gives Mike the performance he wants from his engine and the clean air he wants for his family. Better yet, E15 costs less at the pump. Higher octane, cleaner air, lower cost. E15 sure gives Mike a lot to like. Discover E15 with American ethanol.